All right, let's look at the weighted average cost method. Now, we need to be very, very careful here because I have noticed that there are a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about the weighted average cost method and uh, many of them will provide you that information from uh, the perspective of a periodic inventory system. Our question asks for a perpetual or, or dictates that we use a perpetual inventory system. Okay, so um, that changes things quite a bit. If we were using a periodic inventory system, the weighted average cost method would be extremely, extremely easy. However, that's not what we're doing. We're using perpetual, so a little bit more difficult and we're gonna I'm gonna have to jump back and forth to get up to our scenario here but um, we want to know gross profit so just as we did up here we looked at our scenario and it says we're we're selling blankets for $60 each and we went through and we looked at our sales we sold three plus six plus another three is twelve So our sales are going to be 12 units sold times $60 each. This will not change. This has nothing to do with the inventory cost flow method. So sales are $720. It does, the question does not ask us for sales. It asks for gross profit. But we have to have sales uh, and cost of goods sold before we can determine gross profit. Okay. So, weighted average. I'm going to erase these marks from the previous example. So, weighted average system. Right now, after this first purchase, we've purchased five units at $20 cost each. Therefore, our average is $20 cost each. So for this first sale, all we have to do is simply say that we sold three units at an average cost of $20 each. Because there's no beginning inventory, this figure is the same under uh, LIFO, FIFO, and weighted average method. Okay. However, because we're using the perpetual inventory system, after that first sale, things become a little bit more complicated. So let's go back up to our scenario, our little schedule that we have here. And it says that on the 20th uh, of May, we sold six units, okay? So we have to determine what our average cost in our inventory is um, on May the 20th. And if we, if we look here, we have two remaining units, because we sold three, we have two left. And so we have two units costing us $20 each. So we have two times 20. But then we also have 10 units at $20. So we have to calculate the average inventory value. So we have 40 and 240 equals 280. And we're going to divide that by these two units and these 10 units. So we're going to divide by 12. If we do that, we're going to come up with an average cost of 23.333 each. Okay, so if that's the case, then these six units be plotted as 
6 times 23.333 and we're going to round up to $140. So we've got $60 and we've got $140 here. We made another sale of three units on the 23rd. Okay, made another sale of three units on the 23rd. So, all we do is we come down here and we have three times 23.333 again. And that's going to give us $70. If we add the 60 plus the 140 plus the 70, we come up with $270 cost of goods sold. And that is our answer. Now, we're going to come over here. And we're going to subtract our 270 cost of goods sold from our $720 in sales. And if we do that, we're going to come up with gross profit of $450. And that's one of the answers that we've been asked to calculate. Ending inventory is the last thing we have to calculate. And so we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to borrow. We added up all of the purchases that we made. So purchases equal 640. We're going to subtract from that our cost of goods sold of $270. And if we do that, we come up with ending inventory of $370. And I do apologize if I was writing some and I kind of messed you up because I was writing and I had the the camera focused on the wrong spot. But what I want to show you is a few things here real quick before we get before we stop. I want you to notice that using the average method, all of these figures will be in between LIFO and FIFO. So gross profit is in between. It's 450, LIFO's 444, FIFO's 462. Our ending inventory uh, Weighted average is 370, which is in between the 382 for FIFO and the 364 for LIFO. And our cost of goods sold of 270 is in between the 258 for FIFO and the 276 for LIFO. If you're dealing with a perpetual inventory system, um, all of those figures will always be for the weighted average method will always be somewhere in between the FIFO and LIFO figures.